In Rococo times, Venice was a very naughty place. If you've read any Casanova at all, you'll know that in real life, the grand tourists came here for the gambling, the dressing up, the sex. But in art, they wanted another kind of illusion. A Venice full of sunlight and lucidity. So beautiful, it could never have existed. And that's what Canaletto began painting for them. An imaginary Venice with the stains removed. So how did he get that real look? That sense of the truth, such a marvellous feature of his art. Well, use one of these. The camera obscura. Dark chamber in Latin. If you've ever wondered where the word camera comes from, it comes from this. Lots of artists in history have used the camera obscura in their work, but none as busily as Canaletto. It's basically a pinhole camera which throws an exact image onto this screen, and you can then trace around it for a precise record of the scene. This is the old naval dockyard in Venice, the Arsenale. It's hardly changed since Canaletto painted it, with those big lions there and the dramatic towers. <sighs> I'm not very good at this, but Canaletto was because of the shape of the camera obscura, you only do like half the scene at once. So after he'd done this half here, Canaletto would move the camera obscura over and do the other half, and then put the two parts together for the whole scene. with such marvellous results. Back in the studio, he'd improve the proportions, put in some perfect weather, and add some of those fabulous little Canaletto people who scamper so charmingly about his art. First, he records reality, then he tinkers with it. Starting with the truth, he ends up with a fantasy. And that's the Rococo for you.